White House, no parallel between Trump and Moore's views on gay rights, Muslims The White House sought to distance President Trump from Alabama GOP Senate nominee Roy Moore's most controversial comments, arguing that he does not agree with all the views shared by the candidate he recently endorsed. Trump backed Moore on Tuesday night after his pick in the primary, Senator Luther Strange, Arala, lost the runoff vote. But when asked if Trump agrees with Moore's past comments, including Moore's belief that homosexuality should be illegal or his support for a ban on Muslims serving in Congress, White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders said he does not. I have not taken a deep dive into every comment the Senate nominee has made, but I certainly know where the president stands on those issues, Huckabee Sanders said Thursday. Huckabee Sanders refused to entertain what she called the hypothetical question about if there are any views that a candidate could hold that would disqualify that candidate from an endorsement. Trump joined with the GOP establishment in backing strange spid, even as many of Trump's early supporters, including former White House chief strategist Stephen Bannon, backed more. But Trump's endorsement fell short of full-throat support, as he mused during a Friday rally for Strange about the possibility of having made a mistake. Establishment Republicans spent months blasting Moore as unfit to serve as the media dredged up some of his most controversial comments. But they've since swallowed their pride and are uniting around Moore in a bid to hold the seat vacated by Jeff Sessions's move to the Justice Department. The White House reporter specifically asked Huckabee Sanders about Moore's 2005 comment that homosexual conduct should be illegal, his argument that American tragedies could have been caused by a drift away from religion and a 2006 op-ed where he wrote that Rep. Keith Ellison, demon, shouldn't serve in Congress because a Muslim can't swear allegiance to our Constitution.